So this song is going to come to the chorus or the part that you're looking for. There's something else added on all the time. And I think that it's melodies and also the rhythm suffers from that over the years. Yeah, the, um, the traditional calypso phrasing, you know, it, it, it seems a little bit uh, on edge, adds so much. And instead of coming to the end of the bar, there's something more and something more. We don't come to the end of a phrase. The phrasing a little unusual. But in saying that, he has figured out a formula with connecting to people. Same thing he did last year. He's repeated tonight, and he got the crowd very excited. Very much so involved, Cleve. Yeah. Um, Kid Side's strength is in his lyrics, his punchlines, and he knows what to do. Give some good punchlines in there. And you could get away with that in Calypso. I mean, yes, I agree with the melody. There's a lot of potential, but it's a passable melody. It work. It is working. Yeah. And the, the lyrics, fairly good lyrics. I think Kid Sight did not disappoint tonight. He pleases um, his fans. Definitely. Good job, Kid Sight. Def definitely. You expect a person of that caliber to, to bring their A game uh, on a night like this. Yes, I mean, he's, he's a defending monarch, and he has opened his batting very good. I mean, is it like a, a, a Lara Innings? <laughs> <laughs> in, last, in a large contrast, though, to what we saw here last year, a lot of the performers tonight seem very, very comfortable and very confident and are giving it 100 percent well I, I i think that's because bag plastic bag and, and, and gabby and you are not there <laughs> <laughs> the icons the icons the icons are not there they're not in person but they they're through other persons but yeah tonight you yeah, good good performance okay well let's go to the stage for mr impact with his song change Master 
lessons from past history. So if I'm to make mistake after mistake, eating on your damn cake that the people make, make sure that they know. There you have it, some sort of an impact, I would say, probably one of the most improved Calypsonians in the last three or four years. A fabulous performance. I, I thought he used the stage well. I love the melody of that particular song and the arrangements, Mike Seely, bang on target. Always, it was very pleasant to hear that bass run with the melody in the middle of the chorus. And um, I, I like the fact he's trying something new. Uh, he had a, a, a group of wonderful dancers led by John Hunt. Um, I really enjoyed that performance as well. His voice was crystal clear. I loved how he was able to get the high notes and the low notes perfectly in tune. It was well delivered. Cliff? Yeah, the show now starts now. The show now starts. Tassa, uh, no, no um, Mr. Impact. The change in the tempo, John. I recognize that change in the tempo. Mm -hmm. Yes. One ten. Very, very good decision. The song even had a, more of a bounce yeah, on it. Yeah, because you could appreciate the melody more, so it doesn't have to drag all, all that much. And I believe perhaps the dancers had something to do with it. So right. now, you know, you have a right, the right. right tempo. But the same pack, good performance. Right. Stepped up this game this year. And the same pack, look forward for great things for you. Definitely. Yeah. Let me tell you. Our judges must be scratching their heads down <laughs> with this crowd tonight. I'm, I'm glad to be down here. <laughs> <laughs> I am telling you, a vast improvement than what we saw last year. But I tell you, every performer has brought their A game with them tonight. Correct. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Well, next on stage is going to be the oldest man in this competition, the Hawk. <laughs> and uh, he did really well at the party monarch. Well, uh, the party monarch. At the party monarch, he did really well. At the semis. I said that Hawk was going home and have a good night dress because he already was in his pajamas. <laughs> but he proved me wrong. He's here tonight. Let's see what he can do. But I don't expect much from the Hawk. I think he's happy to be here. I, I think so. I would have to agree with you because this is really a hard nut to crack. I mean, if you look at these performances from the opening number from Bumba uh -huh. all the way down so far, you've had Immaculate singing. They've used the stage well. They've presented their punchline, none as quite as good as Kid's Sight, but he's an old hand at it, but they've delivered their punchlines where they needed to, and uh, the, the Hawk is going to have his hands filled here tonight. Well, I'm not going to give up on the old boys, and I hope <laughs> to see the Hawk up there and doing well. I'm sure that, I'm sure that he will. His people would have had him prep. Um, they, I believe that they would have looked at what happened, but let's go to the stage and get ready for the Hawk. We've got yeah. five more to go. Now I think is a pretty good time to tell you about the lady who was married for about 25 years and uh, her husband passed away. And she decided that she would never court again because she was in mourning. And then she met this guy that she liked a lot and they started to date and they would go out to dinner and they would go out to lunch. And every time he tried to get intimate, she would say, I can't do it because I'm in mourning. And one night he just couldn't take it anymore. When she was about to get out the car and he begged for a kiss, and she said, I can't do it 
I'm in mourning. He hands her a black condom and says, I want to offer you my deepest condolences. I see some lights. I see some lights. Drawn number six from the House of Soka Calypso Tent, singing a song entitled, Age is Only a Number. Please welcome on stage, The Hawk. Yeah. 
mind. If they talk about Frank Bill Williams, yes, he's too old. DGG's the Clifford husband. Yes, he's too old. DG's just to give it seven. Yes, he's too old. And he all got Ibus mentioned. Tell from the applause of the audience, the Hawk did not disappoint Cleve. The Hawk, I sent him home on semi-finals night, but he came and inter entertained the crowd. And um, like Tassa, the Hawk had all those years of waiting in the winds, in, on the wings. That's right. About 20 years, because I, I mean, I met him way back in the early 80s at World, you know. Yeah. Turo, your thoughts on, on, on Hawk's performance? Well, I know that the Hawk, when he first came out, he had a, an unusual way of pronouncing words. <laughs> and um, I did have a couple of problems with those low notes. I wasn't sure what he was saying. Right. And um, the, the, he had a couple of pitch problems. Mm -hmm. It's also unusual that somebody that age can hit those high notes like a 16-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> so loud, powerful, and strong. Very powerful, yeah, yeah. definitely. In, in particular, there's a part in the melody where he says, them world leaders, da -na -na -na, da -na -na -na. Yeah. I mean, that's not in the key, <laughs> Arturo. <laughs> that's not in the key. It's like a flat nut shop. It's definitely not right. in the key. Yeah. <laughs> but the hawk, I mean, please in the code. I think, oh. it, I, think it, I think it did a good job. A little oh. bit winded coming down to the yeah, end, so correct. he began to lose some of the words. Exactly. But I think he got the crowd involved, and that, for I me, is very important on a night like this. I've noticed the guys who are getting into the spontaneous thing with the lyrics and picking out certain Calypsonians, <laughs> I notice a trend to um, pick on TC, so I don't know if she's the one to beat tonight. <laughs> but um, everybody seems focused on TC. <laughs> well, I, I, I think that is a lady who brings a lot of confidence and a lot of power to the stage. Cool. And you know, for a number of years, people have been saying, this could be her year, so exactly. you never know. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we will see. But a, a fantastic job from her. Cleve, I know you didn't have him being here. I think he, he tried to make you eat some of your words. <laughs> he said he's going to beat Kid Said. And, and um, the gentleman said he was going to beat Rusty. He Cut did. loose. <laughs> <laughs> Chip the rust off of him. So you never know. <laughs> you never know. Oh, boy, oh, boy. We're live at the National Stadium for the Battle of Waterford. Let's go to the stage. Please welcome to the National Stadium, Mr. Dale. What seems to be the problem, Mr. Dale? Okay. Huh? Doc, doc. Yeah, what's the problem? Doc, I, I can. I'm getting to sleep and I'm eating. And I, I see a little green man. Little green man? When did this start? Could you tell me? Do you see? Oh my. Kids sick. Oh. Oh. oh my. But it, it, it started when, when. Ever since Kids sick when the crown last year. Wow. When Kid Sight won the crown? Oh, man, you seem to have a very severe case of monarchy myelitis. What? Yes, monarchy myelitis. What is that? Monarchy myelitis? Yes. Wait, wait a sec for that. Well, fortunately for you, we have the, a cure here. It's treatment. You play this every day, as often as you can. Every day? Every day, as often as you can. Can you help me? Yeah. You just play, and after tonight, you'll see. I need help, Doc. Yes. Thank you, Doc. All right, Doc. Thank now, this is the part of so now, we have these people who's going out from working hospital. All the doctors, all the nurses, everybody just hanging inside there after work, you know what I'm saying? 
And this man, this woman do some strike up conversation and talking and drinking and thing, you know what I mean? And start to feel sweet and thing. And to do so and end up, with, to cut it short, end up with percolations. Go on home and fixing, fixing. When they don't know, my man do so and go on washing up so and washing up so, you know. And she go on and washing up and washing up. But what happened there, you see, she wash up a kind of way that you could tell that she is an expert at washing. So when the man watched, she's throwing out, because they didn't even to discuss who to do what, you know. Just, just the drumming thing had to. So when he, he said, wait, wait, from the way you wash your hands and things, so, so meticulously, you, you're, you're a surgeon, are you? She said, yes, I'm a surgeon. And then um, she do some look at him, and um, I, I can tell that you are uh, an anesthesiologist, aren't you? He said, yes, well, how did you know? He said, well, when we the perk and I feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> The country now walk out down without hearing you shut out when the crown. All the calling programs and complaining fans will really take a toll from my head. I started hallucinating, them eating or sleeping. Tell the truth, your boy nearly dead. I went to the doctor for psychiatric evaluation. And in a hurry, he tell me what he thought was the problem. He said, if in can live, so you want to laugh. What happened in the past? Well, that is the past. You're getting too serious with your craft, Mr. Dale. You have to learn how to laugh. Ha ah ha! So now when I open up the newspaper and see Mrs. Minister in hot water for taking a rather expensive bath, I just got a laugh. When inside sources hand me information about the latest developments and urban how a good man inherit corrupt star? I done gone la. I can't run down to the shop in St. Peter. Calling all the press and the media. And beg the short man to buy a one fast. I done gone la. But when I hear that referendum before republicanism will never come to pass. I can't get that support of all the arts. I done gone la. With Mother England, we refuse to let go Nelson erection. Others laugh, uh -huh. uh -huh. others laugh. Uh -huh. I find therapy at last. So what? So I just go laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. And if I did know laughter was so good for me. I would be laughing long, long, long time. The doctor did right. This is first class therapy. It really relaxes your mind. Things that I used to get vexed, perplexed about, doesn't bother me anymore. I find that humor does come in handy when I compose in my calypso. I pick up this cell phone to call up my mental sets and wheelchair to explain to her. Joy I find in humor, they can't take me that is the right way to go. No matter what they do, they can't kill guys, so make them laugh from the head to the toe. But I am ancient, then there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Bullying, 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 fire in the prison. The fine set phones with ringtones, pounds of Jamaican. Things like they get worse when the nurse comes and stop. I just got laugh. Me and my friends, we nearly dead with laughter. To hear the statement from the chief water here, we must get to the bottom of this one fast. I just got laugh. They got to bend it over backwards for legalization. To insert on them into position. But Adam and Nick, I mean, Adam and Steve's behind. I just got laugh. Even in TNT, the pandemic in prison. To those in power, let that be a lesson. Obviously, they play. Sometimes I wonder if 
the flow in first person, not to get jump the name no no I just laugh. Officially mad. All that is front boy doing is giggling. Things about they getting real, real bad. People is approaching me from the street with all kind of material. I should sing. Foreigners packing up the country. So yes, I mean, opposition still inviting. Even my neighbor, malicious Mavis, I really like my love. The woman cast me stink. I would be saying, my Caliph social do. Yeah, you know poor people out here seeing hell. Salaries freeze, cost of living swell. Gas prices cutting me astronomically. And you take them big comedy. He, he, he. Maybe said this year she did expect to see. To above a bit of controversy. But well, that's like Calypso without the Ross. I don't call She NCF is done with Batman negotiating. But we can't have a profit every season at last. I don't know. Well, look at what we sweet for me and us coming to. Here is coming in school to be the teacher. Now that see woman hard to come last in class. I don't know. Then you tell me to forget the sewage situation in Emerton. Promise to fix it fast, but all now the city smell like a billy book. I don't know. Tonight, but I got on boxing gloves, ready to fight. I just laugh. Oh, I just laugh. Somebody like to turn off the AC from Calypso. He going from Clark or Rotty into Elmo. Laugh. Yeah, oh, I just laugh. Get size up and he hard. He's a rasta man. But when I done with it tonight, he can eat bacon. Laugh. Yeah, oh, I just laugh. I love you. <laughs> Mr. Dale. Turo, what person. do you think, Mr. Dale? I am very happy for Dale. Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing this performance, and I realize that he's rid himself of the shackles of his main influence, David Rudder, and he's found himself. This is a new Dale Rudder. If I was not looking, I would not have known that was him singing. All right, Cleve. Mr. Dale is a monarch in waiting. I pronounced him winner last year. The viewers will remember that. This year, he has a very good chance. But if he doesn't win tonight, he will win in the future. Um, improved diction. And very importantly, um, getting the audience involved. The, there was the waving, the waving, the laughing wave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the audience was seeing that, the viewers were seeing that. Yes. But Mr. Dale, good job. I tend to agree with both of your comments. I, I, I was most impressed this year, though, with his diction because yes. last year I think that was one of his downfalls if there was anything to complain yes. about this year he looks a bit more relaxed on stage um, he sat down on the rhythm a lot better than last year yes. right. and he really delivered his songs to the audience so like I said before we have got ourselves a real battle in Waterford tonight and again Reference to TC one TC. more time. And another C, <laughs> AC. TC and AC. <laughs> well, uh, tonight TC is the piñata. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, but another good performance. And I think, I, and I can't help but say this, how pleased I am on, on what we saw last year as opposed to this year. I think everyone has really stepped up to the plate. Maybe it has something to do with a much larger audience and more receptive audience that we have this year. Correct. Well, I guess the guys are really happy to be here. I mean, Dale was very excited to be on stage. And even though he was very calm, I could see he really enjoyed his performance. He put a lot into it. And um, like we say, they're always on this TC thing. I mean, I'm really anxious to see how TC is going to respond to all this attack. <laughs>
<laughs> well, coming up next is going to be Adrian Clark, and he's going to be singing his number, attacking them, and we're going to see how he's going to do in this crowd. Another good performer who can rise to the occasion, a good singer, but one of the things that I think personally has dogged his career is his inability, inability to deliver a punchline properly. Clean. <laughs> Well, Adrian is, is a veteran in the business, and yes, I have those kinds of concerns. Um, Mr. Dale and um, Kidside showed you how to respond. Well, punchline. let's go to stage. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. You're tuned to KAISO Radio 100 on the FM band. Tonight, we hear from three shareholders as to why they are not here in tonight's Pick of the Crop finals. Let's start with the maestro, Gabby. So, Gabby, tell us, why are you not competing? I was feeling ill, but I have to fulfill another appointment. You heard it for yourselves. Let's go to John King for his comment. I can study ministry. Johnny study ministry. I can study ministry. Because I want a ministry. Now, seven-time winner, RPB, what have you to say on this very important issue? Not one well, with that, we open up our telephone lines. Good night. Welcome to the program. Let's hear from you. Good night, Mr. Moderator. This is Granny here. All I have to say is just this here. To the three in the studio, when they ain't singing, that is too bad, too bad for Calypso. You want to be singing bare foolishness already. And without wanting to deal with the issues, there's nobody's up there to deal with it. Be crime and I ain't going to the finals, cause there's nobody there to deal with the issues. F wanna end second, who are there to deal with the issues? I 
Clark, looking good as ever. Use the stage well. I like the song. I like the way that he played on the three so-called big guns, not in the competition. And he used even songs that they would have sung to make his points in the choruses. I thought he did a good job. Yes, he has a very pretty voice. It's very enjoyable to listen to him sing. Uh, I like the dance steps at the, at the end. And uh, I know there's a little problem with the transposition in the middle. I don't know why they added it. I don't think it... it Necessary. Um, it wasn't necessary. It didn't really do anything for the song, but it seemed as though there was a mistake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clip? Well, yeah, they, they tried some things in the arrangement over the semis because they recognized, as I mentioned in the semis, it, for me, John, mm -hmm. the song is not as strong as it should be coming from a former manner. Mm -hmm. um, Adrian tonight, excellent singing. He improved over the semis and he, you know, he relied on his experience and so on. But he also so, seemed to have carried up, sorry, he also seemed to have carried up the tempo a notch from the semi-finals. Yeah, well, most of the performance tonight did set the tempo. Um, I don't know if it's because of the, the rebound that would come from the pavilion. If it's too slow, obviously you'll, you'll be distracted from that. Correct. Definitely. Correct. Yeah. Now, Tura, as a person who has been here in one capacity mm. or the other, mm. let's get your thoughts on the backing band. Well, I'm glad to see David Burnett back. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know, but David Burner is one of the greatest drummers ever to come out of Barbados, trained by Smokey Ruit, and he has the band really tight and together. Um, I, I noticed that yet again we have a guy conducting in front, and I never, even in Smokey time, understood what was the requirement for a conductor for a, this band at this time, because most of the guys in the band are not even looking at him. Um, I understand having him at rehearsal is very important, but once mm -hmm. that show starts, the conductor to me is not really necessary. Okay? Yeah, I, I agree perfectly with, with, mm. with, with uh, <laughs> two. Um, but the band is, is, it seems a little more comfortable tonight. At the semis, they seem to be a bit uneasy. Okay, well, let's go on stage as we await the arrival of the announcer. Titled Unwelcome. Please welcome to the Cable and Wireless Pick of the Crop Finals, the announcer. Seven positions. 
Sensational, but his position was nonsensical. This thing caused me to wonder. My son's godfather, totally at sea in territory of uncharted Christian water. While I hold my head, I say, Look, I hear I support this man for 20 years, and he support me, my mentor in the media industry. But out of his heart, his mouth they confess. Though he give me stress, may he experience my forgiveness. On fireworks and festival stage, advocate it and nation page. Man, the critics parade, but most were ignorant or afraid. Christians have them blue backs. Songs of faith, not songs of sex. Some love from the reef. That's why they cringe when I sing the boxy theology. Hypocrites and liars clearly seen. Them like the hair who put the pepper in the vaseline. But when I oppose they, like Archibald Cox, them say, no way, not me, honey. Because there were no balls bad in my heart. Song, they say I wrong. Gospel fest is where I belong. Hear them strong. Jesus, come to my wedding. Come to my funeral. Oh, Lord, you're welcome in time of turmoil and time of trouble. Jesus sent me a miracle. Help me achieve the impossible. But Jesus, don't be a part of my crop over festival. Lord, check me on Sunday. Not Kadoom and Monday. Lord, leave me alone on my drink alcohol till I fall down from day. Then please help me to recover from the effects of my high Jesus, get the hell out of my crop over. Oh Lord, you ain't welcome. Jesus, you ain't welcome. They say they don't want no Christian in Calypso competition. My God, you ain't welcome. Jesus, you ain't welcome. They say our culture is the exclusive domain of Satan. But I tell them, besides the good news, Speak the truth in love without fear for the nation to hear you can't lose. Bring your Christian opinion from a position of dominion. Oh, and don't mind those who oppose whose egos are abused and confused. Like the short female Kaiso Dynamo, who on stage his Abena must know that power knows we mash and she mock the kutos with blows. So she opened she mouth and talked foolishness Full of bitterness But I pray tonight she won't be so careless Because Calypso is a vehicle For a message good or evil And no one can deny My involvement don't care how they try It is a form of expression Highlighting oppression Oh, laying the blame, calling the name while offering hope and solution And I have a right to participate Good behavior to demonstrate To be lyrically sound Pray that the Lord will bring my opponents round So to those who cuss me, mock me and scoff This Christian knows eternally Who have the last laugh but they won't ease out Jesus, come to my wedding Come to my funeral 
Oh Lord, you're welcome in time of turmoil and time of trouble. Jesus sent me America, but me achieved the impossible. But Jesus, don't be a part of my crop over festival. Lord, check me on Sunday, not to do my Monday. Lord, leave me alone on my drink alcohol till I fall down. Ah, the announcer, the announcer, Cleve, you saw him at the semi-finals. Any improvement on what you saw then? No, not for me, not for me. It's, this is still an, an ordinary song. It was good enough to get him into the finals, but I suspect when the final scores comes, uh, come out, they, he would be at the bottom. Um, but the state pr pr presentation was, was, was good, and he brought Apache, so Apache came to the finals. <laughs> <laughs> Arturo. Well... This Clark and the last Clark don't share genetics when it comes to vocals, mm -hmm. but uh, he has a lot of theatrics and he, he seems possessed with delivering his message. And um, I think he, he did as best as he could. Do you think that he could have suffered though from the amount of anti-sentiment that's been going out there, especially with people saying, but we don't, why are people from experience staying involved in our Calypso findings? Yeah, I think that would, would, would hamper his presentation, especially um, the, the lack of crowd response, because unlike the semi-finals, where he got a fairly sizable response because was, there was a good representation for the experience then. I uh, didn't get that here tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought he did a commendable job. Mm -hmm. Looking at what has come before, mm -hmm. there has been, in my opinion, no real dip, so to speak, of the level of the performances. The confident levels are up. Mm -hmm. The guys have rendered the songs really really well but like Cleve said I don't think that his performance at least in this half will merit him being anywhere around there in the first four or five yes yes I agree with you he has a very smooth voice however and it's, it's very pleasant to listen to but it's not a top four performance definitely and this song has a lot of good punch lines which I thought were not delivered well tonight mm -hmm. yes because um, Calypso is a different ball game Ronnie Clark, the announcer, is pretty new in it, and I expect good things from him in the future. Good, good, good entry for this year. Correct. Well, he was always a lyrical master as a rapper. So definitely. He oh, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. So yes. he shouldn't have any problem in that, exactly. in that area Correct. at all, at all, at all. I thought, I thought the sound seemed a little rushed, but let's go to our stage now for TC. Singing a song called Stay Calypso, TC. For those of us who understand the history of Calypso, for those of us who don't know, the earliest Calypsonians were the Chantwell. Those were the persons way back in slavery and after slavery who were actually chanting the feelings of the populace, who were actually telling the authorities how they felt. In my heart, there was much to say. And I hope that the boss would have listened to me someday. Although he knew my request was small, it was the sting of the whip there to answer me when I called. We had to chant and sing to express our feeling to that wicked and cruel man. That was the only medicine to make him listen. And his so calypso began. Barbados, as the modern day Chantwell of the generation, it is my duty to ensure that we continue to take this art form seriously, not to abuse it, not to misuse it. Calypso, this is TC. I just want. 
Cleve, TC. Fighting battle at the